G'day folks, uh, here we are with our Elite X today. Just thought we'd go through a bit of a rundown on how to set the thing up, uh, the general sort of do's and don'ts to make life easy. Um, to open up the Elite X at the start, got to take the, uh, the boat rack over. So I generally find uh, with a bit of rope, makes it a lot easier to uh, loosen it off and pull it back over at the end of the day. So just hook that guy on. Now normally you'll have uh, sort of little locks on here. We've already taken those out. Uh, also around the other side, on the driver's side, on the Elite X, there's a few little pins to pull out on that side as well. So we'll just walk around and show you those. So just around on the driver's side, there's a couple of little pins here. You gotta pull out the 90 degree hitch down here as well. I generally hang these on the back of the camp here so you don't lose them. And we'll go back around the other side. Then you can un unhitch your, uh, your boat rack. Three little clamps on there. This is sprung loaded, so that's pretty much why we put the rope on there. Uh, if you can just control that back, it will support itself. Generally a good idea, once you've got that over, just to put your pins back in. You only really need to do one pin. Just lock that away, doesn't cause any trouble. Then you've got uh, your four little latches to open up the top as well, so undo those. Go back around the other side. Just be careful not to lose your little, little pins. And then good little trick of the trade, undo that latch, but leave the, the rear passenger side for last. Put a bit of pressure down, and then this guy is gonna be sprung loaded. So you can get your front winch and winch it over the back to winch the forward fold over to the front. But we find generally it's easy enough just to push this over. So give it a bit of a, bit of a push. It won't slam down on the other side, so don't worry too much about giving it too much of a push. As you see, it won't slam down on the other side. Come round, get your front winch. Just loosen that off a bit. It's a two-way winch, so if you don't have a ratchet or anything to lock in, it'll loosen and tighten. Let's go around, pull that down a little bit. And pull that down. Winch it down, just so you don't flush down to the top of the, the camper. Don't need to crank it down too far. Uh, next, we'll show you how to put the poles internally and set the uh, internal frame of the tent up. So uh, we'll now show you how to set up the tent inside uh, the Elite X. Uh, once it's forward folded, you've just got rear gas strut that'll fold up by itself for your rear wall. Then into your door. Uh, these little latches, they're sort of a, a two-tier two so twist them once, it still actually won't be open yet. Just nip it again. That'll open it up, fold down your ladder. And climb inside. Uh, the Elite X has got a place to store all of your poles for your tent and your annex in the rear, which we'll show you a little bit later but I often leave the poles that you need inside the tent. Uh, you can store them inside here for easy setup. Um, when we uh, do a handover, we give you uh, a full annex diagram with all your poles, they're all numbered, so it makes life very, very easy. Um, so in here, we just need to put in uh, four number seven poles and two number 14 poles, which I've got here. So we'll just show you how to fit those in. So basically generally work from the front to the back. You sit up on the bed. Push the poles forward. 
slide across the other side. And then just adjust again. The front bit's out. And grab a couple of 14 shorter poles. They'll go up at the head of the bed. They just C-clip onto the end. the side and then you just need your four number seven poles Again, another little trick, they've got the locks, uh, put your lock facing downwards, not upwards, otherwise you'll get caught against the canvas at the top. Just extend those out, lock it into place. Same with the other side. Then you also have your vertical poles. You can raise them up a couple of inches. On both sides. And then you've just got your two number sevens down the lounge area as well. Then last but not least, you've just got your rear holes to extend up as well. So that's your basic setup, but uh, you can then go around and just tension them all out, put them out a little bit further. Uh, we'll now go to set up the lounge. So uh, as you can see, the Elite X has got a fantastic kids double bed down the back. This converts into a really lovely sociable lounge. So to uh, set that up, just pull out your middle cushions there. A little bit of an extra insert that forms the bed that you can st stick underneath the, the queen bed if you like. Uh, and then you've got your collapsible table. So pull the collapsible table out at one end. You've got a little sort of U-shaped clip, just pull up on that guy and then just shake the table down. Then just make sure it's fully inserted, locked into place like that. So it's as easy as that. Goes in the middle, put your cushions around for a bit of backing. 
And that's as easy as that, setting up your, your lounge area. Bring on dinner. So uh, we we're just gonna set up a few of the sort of uh, pull out window systems. On the Elite X and the Elite, you've got uh, six sort of large external windows. Uh, on the passenger side, you've got ones that would face into the annex, so they're just roll up windows. But uh, your two driver side, your front and your rear, you can actually put them out as little annex. So we're gonna show you how to do that. Obviously we supply you with a full annex diagram, tell you what poles you need. Uh, for this, it's two number eight poles and a number six pole. So we'll show you how to set that up. Just open up your windows, your zips and your Velcro. Uh, get your, one of your number eight poles, have the little hook on it. Down the bottom grommet, you want to put that hook through the bottom eyelet, tip it upside down, and when you look in the bottom of it, it's got a little canvas pocket, basically. That little hook wants to sit in there. Then the top point on the number eight, just hook, hook through the top grommet. You can just sit it in that position to start with. Go across to your other side, do the same thing. Through the bottom grommet. Just tip it upside down, you'll see where the pocket is. Slide it into the pocket. And just put the pointy bit through the top grommet. Then you can get your number six pole. Sit that across the top externally on top of your number eights. And then just extend that out. Clamp it back into place. And then you can just tidy it up basically. You've got your side zips either side. You can tidy up the bottom bit, so just pull it back out over the top. Velcro it back underneath so it's all nice and tidy. And then if you like, you can extend your number eights a little bit as well, just to give you a little bit more tension. There we go, that's pretty much it. Easy. All right, we're gonna dive into the kitchen, the, uh, you know, the place where everyone wants to be. It's where all the business is done. So, just unlock those. Got a couple of uh, sort of gate bolt locks that lock it into place. Turn those 90 degrees so they get hooked out of, out of uh, alignment there so they don't bounce down on you. Same on the other side. Then you can pull the kitchen out on runners. Uh, it will self-support itself, uh, but you do need to put the, the legs down to support it for cooking. Uh, so as you see, it does self-support, but you do want to dive in underneath and uh, put down the legs. So dive in underneath. Again, it's got another little sort of uh, gate latch in here as well. Pull that, legs will fold down. Just a couple of butterfly screws. Loosen those off. Pull your legs down. You can give it a little bit of a lift. Tighten those back up. You're pretty much away. So on the Elite and Elite X, we've got a, a four burner stove, gas stove here. So just fold that up. These little windshields you can fold around. I only really need to put one up. Uh, all of these four burners, they're all individually piezo ignited. So just push down once your gas is hooked up. And then your, your dish rash and, rack and your sink, just fold that up. Got a little latch behind uh, to lock it down as well. So just tension that guy up. That'll keep it all locked away. A uh, couple of lights on your kitchen as well, which is awesome. So a little cooking light on a little arm comes out. No actual switch on that. You do need to plug that in, power cord. So just down below here where your water hoses get connected. Pull that guy out. Uh, just around the bottom, it's got a little dimple at the top of this circular black piece. Just up in here. 
that'll stay to the top. Just run it across here, plug it in, and then your cooking light's away. Your other kitchen light, a couple of buttons over here at the control center. Uh, top one's gonna be uh, your kitchen light here, and then you've got a couple of pump switches as well. Um, so we have two forward folds, the Elite and the Elite X. This is the Elite X, which is slightly specced up and does have plumbing for hot water back to the kitchen, which you can run a hot water system from the drawbar back here, whereas the Elite has only got a cold water system, so cold water running to here. So you do have two, uh, two uh, pipes, I guess, for, uh, for hot and cold, which are, are labeled. Um, two hose pieces that insert. So obviously clear for cold, orange for hot. And just run those from the kitchen across to the camper. Just insert, run across to your hot, which will be labeled. And you can do the same with your cold, then you're pretty much away. Uh, you got a mixer tap on here. We'll run through uh, the hot water system. If you have a, a gas hot water shower, how that'll run back uh, through to the kitchen here a little bit later on. But uh, you've got that, then you just got to hook up your gas hose around the back. So both the Elite and the Elite X will have a, a, a really nice easy bayonet fitting uh, in the back of the camper. Just pull out your gas hose from the kitchen. Probably a little bit tricky to see, but underneath there's a plastic cap holding the gas in. Undo that, just plug your bayonet fitting in. And there we go, hooked up. And that's as easy as that to hook up your kitchen. You're away to go. Just gotta get your gas hooked up at the front uh, and you're ready to start. We're just round at the uh, driver's side on the Elite X and just gonna run you through the, the basic power setup that you've got in here. There's other upgradable options which we'll show you in a little bit as well. Uh, but yeah, halfway down, uh, a little box in here which has got all, the, all your power set up. So start button is, uh, is the main power switch. So you can switch that on. Uh, once you switch that on, it'll give you a, uh, a reading for your percentage charge of your batteries and your voltmeter just in here. It'll also activate uh, your water tank levels. So your Elite and Elite X forward folds have got uh, 160 litres of, of uh, fresh water capacity, but uh, two tanks in here. Um, so that'll give you your, your water levels in your tanks uh, just there. Then as you run along the buttons in here, got a button for your fridge power a button for all of your USB and 12 volt cigarette sockets, uh, for all of your lights around the camper, and then pump number one and pump number two. So pump one, number one running back to the kitchen and pump number two running the uh, front water tank, which is a little bit smaller, uh, to pressurize water on the drawbar, which we'll show you a little bit later as well. These have then all got resettable fuses along the top here, which are all labeled. Um, if there's any trouble, they might pop out, but they're resettable fuses, not replaceable fuses. So just pop those back in. Uh, moving back to the top here, you've got an, a, a 40 amp fuse uh, above the power box. That actually is the uh, Anderson plug running from your vehicle uh, back here to the camper. So if this trips at all, uh, there might be an issue between the power between your, your vehicle, the tow vehicle, and back to the camper here. Um, that's just resettable. Uh, like that. Uh, so we'll run around, we'll show you a few different things on, on the camper lights wise, um, but that's your basically your, your power setup and how to control it uh, back down here. So we've got all our power on uh, over at the power box. We're now back over to the passenger side, entry into the camper. You've got a, another couple of uh, 12 volt cigarette sockets down here uh, and also USB power socket there as well. Now we've also turned our number one and number two pump switches on over in the main power box. If we then run back around to our kitchen, um, you've got the three switches around here as well. So the top switch we mentioned is the light. Uh, your next two switches down are activating the two water pumps. So they'll come to light when you switch them on. Uh, so 
You can leave your main number one and number two pumps on at the power box, but this will activate and deactivate or switch them on or switch them off back here. So you can be turning number two pump off here or number one pump off over here as well. So for example, if you've got the, the kitchen sink, you need number one pump switch on around the power box and then turn your other one on here and then your sink will be active as well. If you've got a hot water system set up on the front, um, then the tap in the sink is just like a mixer tap, give you hot and cold. Uh, so we've got our power on. So moving back into the camper, there's three little light switches uh, as you move into the camper down here. I'll move across to the other side. You might be able to see them a bit better. Uh, so you've got your, your tent light around the back, um, your front or bed light, which is dimmable uh, and switch offable when we go inside and then your entry step light as well. Uh, and then you've got your Bluetooth radio uh, up here as well, which you can turn on and off. So we'll dive into the camper. Got a few other cigarette sockets and um, USB sockets around the place. So just up under here, these are all standard. You can dive up into the, the bed area. And so if you are up in bed, so you don't need to get out of bed, you've got a dimmable controller up here. And then you can also turn it off when you're going to bed. Nice and comfy. Okay, so you've also got a lovely privacy screen in the bed area as well. Pull that down. I'm going to bed now. There we go.